Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello. <laughs> it is Pixel Partners here, <laughs> and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney. I almost said, <laughs> I almost said Investigations 2, and I'm like, that's not the right game. Welcome that's, that's back. That's the wrong thing. To the Great Ace Attorney. <laughs> I had to make sure I didn't say Attorney Investigations 2. When we left off, we were doing the dual witness interrogation dual thing witness. here. Dual witness. I said witness normally, don't you? <laughs> he like you said witness. Get these witnesses up. They put the ass in witness, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah. But apparently we've gotten the truth out that there's someone pulling the strings back there. And there was someone who told them to, to testify that they didn't see the lady <laughs> there. And they're like, oh, whoopsie. And they're like, we didn't. We, we didn't say anything. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. And we're just like, and da, 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 da. Well, Narhodo, do you have any idea who may have ordered them to stay silent? If you can identify a culprit, we can demand them to appear in court. Satan, Satan. I need to identify the one who ordered both witnesses to hide the truth. Obviously, we need to find some evidence first. Evidence shows the in evidence that shows the influence <laughs> of a powerful third party. It evidence? There's no way we could have that look. <laughs> Hold on, Narhodo. Remember what happened earlier? Huh? Earlier we examined this piece of evidence and found a new lead, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. There's more where that came from. We might be able to uncover another hidden clue by examining other pieces. There's no time to waste. He's about to cut someone's arm off. Yeah. Well, if either of you have fabricated your testimony, I shall declare you guilty of perjury. But please wait just a moment, Your Honor. I, ouchie, swear to the <laughs> that I had no part in this. Did you hurt yourself? I swear. And defendant, no attorney, what is going through your mind? S sir <laughs> I can't do this. There's no time to gather my thoughts. I just have to close my eyes and blurt out the first name that comes to mind. Aside from the prosecutor, I believe this person was influential enough to pressure them. Huh. Um aside from the prosecutor. I believe this person was influential enough to pressure them. Huh. Well, I mean, it they wouldn't can't be pressure either themselves. of them. He's a waiter. But wait, what mean, else did it say about him? Uh, head waiter of the rest or Western style was waiting tables at the crime scene on the day of the incident. So just a head waiter. And then there was John Watson. He was a uh, he, he he was a uh, invited to come to university. The greatest friend. He was a medical doctor. The only person that really has anything of power is um, Professor Mikotoba of Imperial Yume Medical Research Department. And, and authority, authority in forensic medicine. Ooh. Like, that's the only person that makes <laughs> sense in a way. Yeah. Of being powerful enough that we know about. And I mean, he was here in the courtroom. Yeah. Not in the courtroom, but like he was in the in the wherever they are yeah and i can't really check any of the Our previous courthouse, evidence or I guess. anything i don't know so. if it's called that i'll go for it okay how about oh, this individual i guess we're not i think you would have been better off closing your lips instead of your eyes then maybe you wouldn't have to hear a collective sigh coming from the court uh this judge has sass. One who under the rest shuts his eyes to the world may as well do the same to his lips. Penalty. Prepare yourself. I will shut that up your mouth of yours without an influence. Wow. Then, but the waiter barely makes any sense. There's something mm -hmm. funny about the way that prosecutor barks. <laughs> I mean, I have much influence myself. Bork, bork. But that doesn't make, make, doesn't take much to shut you up, does it? <laughs> okay, f fine. I'll think it through again. There should be a clue hidden somewhere in the court record. If only it would let me look at it beforehand. It just, it locked me away from that. Oh, it did? Yeah, when once it was on the profiles, I couldn't look at anything. Oh. So, I mean, is it the waiter? Oh, hey, I can flip it over now. Cool. We couldn't <laughs> do that before. This is rather odd. What's wrong, Sogi? The name of the witness is written down here. Satoru Hosunaga. Satoru. Well, obviously... Oh, oh, well, that's important. The witness was a lead detective in something. Wow! <laughs> well, obviously, well, obviously, it's a business card, after all. The name is not the problem. It's the title. 
The title? Oh! Yeah. Imperial Police Division Number 1 Investigation Lead Detective Satara Hosanaga. The detective? What in the world is going on? I have no idea. If he has the authority of a police officer, he may be capable of coercion. Yeah. Well, now that they've let me do that, I can now know what the person could be the head yeah. influence. I figured they were going to give me time to look at things, but as soon as I get to... It's like there's some evidence I haven't thoroughly checked Wait, might yet. Now I have. They're in defendants? No, attorney, what is going through your mind? T sir I can't do this. Uh, uh, close my eyes and do the thing. <laughs> Deep breath. <sighs> is that from the prosecutor? Believe this person... Yeah, because oh, once yeah, I get here, it, it, takes it, it takes it away. I was like, oh, I can't look at anything then. Even though the... Isn't that the court record button down no, that's, there? No, that's save. That's oh. the save button down there. But so was that like a forced penalty? Like a rigged penalty? What, what? No, that was just... I don't want to say bad game design, but I guess bad timing. I guess I should have looked before I got to this screen to do it. I figured they're going to give me a time to at least check it, but yeah. they didn't. But now we know. Well... Um, might the name of this person be Satoru Hosanaga? Hosanaga, the waiter. Boulder Dash! <laughs> <laughs> Why would it be a way to need to silence these witnesses? Moreover, there's no way I had that level of influence. You're not wrong, but what if this man wasn't really a waiter? But, pardon me? Where are you going with this? He's like, how screwed am I? <laughs> Go on, Narahodo. Now's your chance to strike him down. The answer that points towards Satoru. So, towards Sotoro's Satoru. Satoru. Sotoro? Oh my god. It's the business card. Satoru. It's the business card. You had it before, and then you just threw it away. I'm bad at things. What can I say? It's that sketch of the crime scene drawn by the waiter. Why, he certainly is a resourceful head waiter. No, Your Honor. That's just the back of the card. What you ought to be paying attention to is the back of the back. Or the front. Huh? Oh, oh, sorry. That would be the front, I guess? The back uh, of yeah, the that's back. It. That's the big brain version. In other words, please take a look at the front of the back, Your Honor. The front of the... You mean the front of the card? <laughs> Could someone reiterate that for me? Just I flip don't it over. speak dumb. Just... Look at it. Uh, <laughs> allow me. <laughs> Sataru drew this sketch on the back of his business card. And needless to say, business cards display the identity of their owner. Oh, I love him. The identity of their owner. Oh. Oh. I see your honor has figured it out. Imperial Police Division 1, Investigation Lead Detective, Satara Hosanaga. What? What in blazes? That, that way is actually a detective of the Imperial Police? I ouchie was not told about this. <laughs> I ouchie. <laughs> the Imperial Police holds absolute, nay, overwhelming authority over the citizenry. Witnesses? <laughs> Are you ordered to fabricate your testimonies by the so-called waiter? Were you told to hide the fact you witnessed the presence of a young lady that day? Well... This man has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you love his voice. Whoa. Yes, I do. Who was that? Of course it was him. Oh. D Detective Hosanaga? Oh, boy. To be honest, I saw this coming. I knew that since this moment I was asked to hand over that sketch. You request that you present that sketch to the court as evidence for the trial. Oh, well... That's why he was so apprehensive about oh, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something wrong? Go on, hand it over. That... Certainly, as you wish. That's why he was like, oh... Fuck. Come to think of it, he did seem to hesitant to hand over his card. You must investigate to it to the utmost perfection. That is my motto. Yet here I am, having been exposed in my own blunder. But not a failure on my part. Did, didn't you bring that, detective? <sighs> but why would a detective of the Imperial Police be employed at a Western restaurant? Oh, but maybe a detective said <laughs> I was conducting an undercover <laughs> investigation. <laughs> I wish you could have seen the rest of that. I'll see that in post. <laughs> maybe a detective. I, I already knew where that 
was going. I didn't. <laughs> oh. An undercover investigation. Why? That was obviously a shout out to Gumshoe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Recently, there's been a string of incidents in that particular restaurant. An investigator took on the role of a waiter and infiltrated the establishment. A string of incidents? What kind exactly? I cannot disclose any details regarding the investigation. I can only say that it is unrelated to the murder case at hand. Hmm. Very well then, Detective Hoshinaga. Allow me to confirm one thing. And what would that be, Your Honor? Why the fuck you making them lie? <laughs> Earlier, these witnesses let slip a crucial new piece of information. So I heard. During the incident, it seems that there was a guest at the victim's table. Mmm, you nimwits. <laughs> if that is indeed the truth, then as their waiter, you were aware of that. And yet, not only have you avoided testifying to that fact, you've even used your authority to prevent these witnesses from speaking out. Do you deny any of this? <clears throat> I'm dying. I plead the fifth. <laughs> I do not. Wow. But what? We were right. I ran into the kitchen as soon as I heard that gunshot. What I saw then was the lifeless victim with the university student towering over him, firearm in hand. And also, another individual sitting across the table. A British woman, I believe. Mm. We were right again. Yep. British. I quickly had the restaurant blockaded as I reported the incident to headquarters. It was then that I received a set of special orders from my superiors. Wow. Special orders? What do you mean? Release the British woman from the scene of the crime immediately. I was also to conceal anything that implied she was ever there. Those are the absolute irrefutable commands issued to me. But, but. If that British one was the true culprit, it would be in your best interest not to finish that statement. Huh? Maintaining good relations with the British Empire is one of our nation's top priorities. A British man was murdered and now you wish to convict a British woman of that crime? Unless your case is watertight, I cannot afford to take that risk. We cannot afford. I see. I fucked up. That's the reason behind the disappearance of our phantom woman. Look, his face was off screen. Yeah. That's insane. Oh. Um. Mm. Huh. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered something. Asogi? Imperial Yume University accepts exchange students from the British Empire. And currently there is one such student in our Department of Medical Research. A young female student, no less. Mm. Is it, seriously? Uh-oh, they're trembling. Yeah. You truly are a gifted student attorney. I can see why you were chosen to study abroad as our Empire's representative. Uh, th then that means... After scoring the lady away from the crime scene... I looked into identity for the sake of being through thorough. In that case, you would do well to state her name to the court. Oh shit. <laughs> the name of the British lady who dined with the doctors, Miss, Miss Jezeel Brett. I guess that's it. I, Giselle? I'd say Giselle. Giselle Brett. She's an exchange student in Imperial UMA and is a member of the Victims Research Lab. What? What? She about to be going to Giselle. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, God. I was ordered by my superiors to erase her presence from the scene. As such, I coerced these men into concealing the truth. This I do not deny. Leave the rest in your honor's capable hands. Very well. The court will now state its opinion on the matter. So far, this trial has proceeded under one major assumption. That the victim was sitting alone at the time of the incident. Huh? However, that assumption has now been discredited. In light of this development, the court believes that it is still too early to hand down a verdict. Your Honor, 
what that means. We would delay the verdict in our telegram to the British Empire until later this afternoon. Our government won't be happy about that. Restrain yourself, Prosecutor Alti. The trials of the Supreme Court are not to be swayed by political influence. Yen. Detective Hosanaga. Yes. Please issue a summons for Mr. St. Brett. As your honor commands. Detective! Those all mean the fine the special orders you were given! I believe I made this clear earlier. If you must investigate, do it to the utmost perfection. That is my motto. Detective, won't your livelihood be at risk? He's like, what livelihood? I'm already <laughs> like, dying. I'm actually dying in seven days, so you don't have to worry <laughs> about my livelihood. <laughs> Bring it on, I say. Okay. Dude. Still don't have an explanation for that. No. <laughs> Let us adjourn this trial for a short recess. Hereby order that the exchange shouldn't Mr. Zerbrett be summoned to this court. Is that understood? Y yes, Your Honor. Oh, sir. <laughs> Very good. Court will now take a 30 minute recess. Bap. I love how much authority this judge has. I know, He right? actually uses it. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike some judges. <laughs> what does uh, it the, mean? The judge. What does that mean? <laughs> what does this mean? What are you talking about? Where's my grandson? Like, <laughs> <laughs> but we love him. We do, because he's a sweet old man. He is. All right. 22nd November, 11.38 a.m. Supreme Court Defendant Lobby Where's my grandson? Five. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> well done, Narhoto. What's a camera? <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. I mean, just look at you. Drenched in sweat, knees trembling, eyes darting, teeth chattering. But even in that sorry state, you still managed to gra grasp the truth. You're more suited for this line of work than I thought. <laughs> oh, stop it, or I, I'll really die of embarrassment. <laughs> oh, is he blushing? In any case, we finally dragged that phantom woman to the stand. Phantom. <laughs> no, God, no. <laughs> Hello. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Mr. Zale, Breton exchange student from the British Empire, huh? You don't need to relive that. See, I told you there was someone else there. Dr. Watson wasn't alone at the time of the incident. There was a young woman sitting across from him. True, you did say that. At the very least, I do have confidence in my powers of observation, you know. Powers yeah, of observation? Yeah. Are you Paul? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, speaking of that lady, I know the good detective helped her vanish from the crime scene. But did you really not catch any of that while it was happening? No, I can't say I did. Right as I was about to leave the restaurant, I saw that pistol by the doctor's table. It was just lying there, begging to be picked up. The next thing I knew... Why did you pick it up? <laughs> Why? What? I don't get his line of thought there. He's a young lad. Yeah, and he's that man's ancestor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, let me just go, 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 let me just love my life after giving me a little bottle that totally doesn't have poison in it. <laughs> <laughs> but I could figure out where the gunshot had come from. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That way, something charging me like a madman. <laughs> Then he shoved me into the kitchen pantry. Sounds like a brilliant arrest. Just what I expect from a trained detective. As for what happened at the crime scene afterwards, well, I have absolutely no idea. Huh. I huh? bet that's the guy. I don't remember the voice I gave him. I don't remember at all the voice uh, I gave him. Oh, frick. What voice did you give Was him? Was something like this? Hello yeah, again, it, it was, there, um, too. it was, yeah, it was like, I think my thing was, oh, Professor Means or something like that. Oh, uh, Professor Mikotoba. That appears my hunch was correct. The two of you make a fine team. In fact, you're fang even better than I expected. All professors I have the same it. voice. This was all a part <laughs> of your scheme, wasn't it, Professor? You plot to remove me from his defense. Mm -hmm. well, this country is still young, its legal system even younger. As such, it is particularly valuable for my nation to have our brightest youth scouring the globe. 
I intervened only to prevent the possibility that your trip and study abroad could be revoked. <sighs> and yet, Professor, if I turn out to be a pathetic man who can't even save his best friend, then I'll withdraw from the exchange program myself. You can't do that! Oh, nobody can. I thought you might say something like that. So he. That means everything rests on your shoulders then. Uh huh? But mine, sir? Your own innocence is exposed the truth behind this murder. I would love to learn what really happened. After all, I can say that I'm completely unaffected by this incident. Come to think of it, Professor Mikitoba mentioned that earlier, didn't he? Was the you can't do that? Did Naruhodo say that? Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be, yeah. I think. <laughs> Why um, did you say? Why did you <laughs> fix yourself? It was too late by the time it I was realized too late. it. <laughs> um, Professor, could it be that you were acquainted with the victim? Why, yes, I was. The one who formally invited the late John H. Watson to teach here as a professor was none other than myself. I was gonna say he does huh? medical stuff too. Are you serious? This is my first time hearing about this too. Whatever the case may be, you both have your work cut out for you. The benefit was a professor from Britain, whose name holds great sway. Thus, our government hopes to convict someone as swiftly as possible. What's more, the opponent we're about to face is some of the Imperial Police tried to cover up. A British student and a lady at that. Yeah. Yeah. Lady? <laughs> <laughs> I suspect the prosecution will unleash all manner of unha underhanded tactics against you. But now you two are prepared to fight until the bitter end. Hang in there. Yes, sir. Here's a cat poster to motivate you. <laughs> now that reminds me. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> I'd like for you to return to the university immediately. I have some news for you over there. Understood. Kazuma, I wish you the best. Kazuma san! Kazuma san! No, okay. don't. <laughs> Defendant! Reassess his hand and head back to the courtroom at once. It's time. I'm cutting you again, partner. In case anyone was very confused just then, Evan was doing a Konosuba <laughs> reference. Yes, I was. I <laughs> love that show. It is Ow, great. my neck. Let's cut the nonsense of rhyming these old men to pieces. Hey, Asogi. Can I have a hug? No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks. I mean it. Come on, no need to be so courteous. Seriously, if you hadn't put your faith in me, I'd have been declared guilty a long time ago. I have faith in you, not only as a man, but also as both an attorney and a friend. The Sogi. Partner. <laughs> Partner. <laughs> I'm declared guilty in this trial. The Sogi really will give up in his trip abroad. That's just the sort of guy he is. Not only one whose fate is at stake in this battle. No matter who the opponent is, I can't afford to lose. I guess you're right. I'll save my gratitude for after the trial. Get ready to treat me into the usual beef hot pot at the cafeteria when this is over. An extra large serving, of course. <laughs> the most expensive. <laughs> why does uh, why does uh, why does why does uh, <laughs> why does the, why, why does, does the, a Hodo always have to pay for the food afterwards? Why, why does the Wright family always have to pay for the food? Why is it? It's a curse. It's a curse. It handed really down, is. Starting with this boy. <laughs> Like, yeah, Nick, we're gonna go out for burgers. Your treat. The court will now resume the trial of Rinosuke Naruhodo. Prosecutor Aochi, God, your name is horrible. How goes the search for our new key witness? Good, Your Honor. She has just reminded the summons. Thanks to a said little brat, our government was scrambling to complete the task. Is it sorry about that? Jeez. <laughs> Responding in a timely manner is their job, not ours. I failed to see the problem. This up will surely sad the relationship with the British Empire. You have jeopardized not only the treaty, but also our nation's future. Your face has soured my relationship uh, with being outside. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that was a good one, didn't you not? <laughs> I heard. <laughs> a treaty formed with an easily agitated empire isn't worth the paper it's Leaving written on. Leaving my home to see you in existence. No. <laughs> I repeat, I fail to see the problem. Oh, I, I beg your put pardon? It, put it away. Thank you. <laughs> a secret trial to appease a foreign government, a sloppy investigation, a hidden witness. 
Where is our nation's sense of justice gone? To which empire does this court belong? Sit silence, know your place, student. You children are nothing in the precarious position our nation is in. Whoa. For us to one day stand among the powers, profound large political strategy is needed. I don't know why, but that was really gross. He just it like was. wiped a <laughs> fountain of sweat off his face. Our path forward shall be paved by diplomacy. Over his glasses, ripe sweat. <laughs> well, I may be an average student who knows little or nothing about politics. I can feel the truth of Asogi's words just by standing here in this court. An empire with no justice has no future. That's what I believe. But, uh, what? Mmm. I like this kid. <laughs> well said, Narhodo. Shifty eyes and all. I know, he's just like... Uh, damn you! Very well, then. As our empire's highest bastion of law, the Supreme Court exists for the sake of justice. Let us resume the trial. The court calls the next witness to the stand. Bring in the exchange student from the British Empire, Mr. Zerbrett. Yes. <laughs> yes, your honor. Um. Ow. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Oh, oh my that's a swan. Goodness. Oh, the my. Wow. Okay. British swan bell. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, greetings, greetings. You must have endured quite the journey. Oh, that Welcome creepy Japan. grin. I hate that. <laughs> Quick, someone fetch the tea. A proper British greeting begins and ends with black tea. Is that true? Don't know. Don't care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Don't ease. Stop. Now then, with this, I hate British that. We do a name and occupation. I hate that so much. Yes, sir. Oh. My name is Sataro Hosonaga. I'm currently working undercover as a waiter at La Quintas. I wasn't talking to you! Ladies first! A proper British greeting always begins and ends with a lady. Is that true? Don't know, still don't care. Oh my god, I love this man. <laughs> More importantly, do you remember what you said earlier? One thing I do have confidence in is my own observational skills. Was it? Oh, right. I might have said that, I think. <laughs> Yet all you could describe her as, yet all you could describe her as was a young woman. Sure, you're not actually blind as a bad Naruto. <laughs> I have no rebuttal. <laughs> anyway, let us start over. Oh. Witness your name and occupation, if you please. Stop. Hmm. Fancy. Whoa. Uh. I literally can't even read that. Even if the screen was smaller or any bigger, I could not read this. I don't know. Want to speak some random British jib jib British? Jib British. <laughs> um. T. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Great front line. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh. Uh, Did she speak in English or something, and they didn't understand? Is that what it was? I mean, that could be a thing. I mean, if this was like a hundred years ago, I don't know if, I mean, English probably hadn't become like the main a language like it is known, nowadays. Yeah, I don't. Uh. Oh, um, lady, pardon my rudeness, but come again. So he said something to her. He's translating. And, yeah. <laughs> Okay. She says her name is Giselle Brett. She hails from London. At present, she is a research exchange student in the Pale UMA's medical program. Oh, your yeah, English is so pleasing to the ear, my lady. <laughs> Even though I just said not a word, yeah, I'm entranced by the beauty of your voice. <laughs> from what I can hear, being trusted detective to interpret her testimony accurately. Yeah, I agree. Looks like all that prep work he did to study abroad in Britain won't go to waste. As for you, Narhoto, it seems your time in the English department isn't just for show. Now then, esteemed witness, apologies for the inconvenience, but we would like for you to testify. Three days ago, at the scene of the terrifying murder in the Contos, you were sharing the table with the late Dr. Watson. Is that correct?
<laughs> she says yes. Uh, this is going to get annoying fast. Oh my god. This exchange student doesn't even speak our tongue. I was going to say, how is she an exchange student and doesn't even know yeah. the language? Like how... I can't read any of that. Me neither. It's... The, you know what that is? That's Dr. Prescription Signature language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she had to vacate the scene due to an emergency. She deeply apologizes. She had to return to the university for an important research symposium. Haven't seen that word in a long time. Right. <laughs> Some cheek you have for someone who personally let her escape. I will soon be following the special orders issued to me by police headquarters. Don't excuse me, my oh, lady. Stop. Can you take a look at this photograph? Look at this photograph. <laughs> when the incident occurred, were you unfortunately at the scene of the crime? You were unfortunately at the scene of the crime. Were you? You were. Does that mean you were bold witness to the crime with those beautiful eyes of yours? Oh my god. Simp. <laughs> She says it was the most sad and terrifying spectacle to behold. So, so she did see it after all. Yes, Your Honor. It seems that she indeed witnessed the crime unfold. The defendant over there. He's the one who shot the victim. That is a testimony of the moment of the crime. Uh. Well, that's not good. Order, order, order in the court. There. There you have it, Your Honor. This is an incriminating testimony. Mm. Now I get it. That woman is our true opponent. Huh? How do we know if he's actually translating what she's saying and he's not just, like, using English to get away with saying whatever suits what he needs to have done, you know? I guess. It's like, I mean, oh, yeah, she says that he, like, they both could be in it. They could both be in on it. I mean, aside from the glasses push, there's nothing that makes him inherently bad if no. what he was saying earlier is true. As much as it pains me to say this, witness, please give us your testimony. Ascribe to us this sad and terrifying spectacle. And she's going to describe it to us. Next time. Oh, boy. I was like, I was ready to like, all right, time to recycle my Justine Courtney voice. I know. And then and it's... Like, and guess then not. <laughs> can't read any words. Don't know what they are. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see if she ever actually talks, talks. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe next time you can just like, if there's no words that we can read, you can just say random English sentences. <laughs> random English sentences. Yeah, I say exactly that every single time. <laughs> random English sentence. No. <laughs> what she said is random English sentence. Wait, what? You okay. heard me. Random English sentence. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to pretend to say. She said she saw the man murder him in cold blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Christ. <laughs>